Welcome to Flash Tutorial 29, Moving Car Variable Speed. It's a follow-up to Flash Tutorial 24, Car on Background Controlled, and that's what I have opened on my computer now. In this tutorial, we just had this car, and when we press the button, the backgrounds move, and it's one fixed speed. We're going to make it a variable speed. Start by selecting this wheel right layer, insert a layer, and call it line, L-I-N-E. And make sure you select that first frame. Let's make this 50%, and right here, draw a line. There it is. And if I look at it, and this is going to be important to you, we want the width to be 1, as in 1 pixel. I just probably used my, my straight line tool over here. So it's 1 pixel wide, and it's 205.9 high. 205 high. And notice the X and Y positions. The X position is 475.8 and 70.00. So try to be as close as them as you can, so it'll make your you make your um, following this tutorial easier. Lock that layer, select that line layer, insert a layer, call it button. B U T T O N, and we're going to make a button. There it is. I'm going to make that a little bit larger so you can see it. I'm highlighting it. If I open my properties panel, you can see it's never mind whatever instance name you want to give it when you make when you make it. When I made it, I made it for a light dimmer. So when I originally went up here to modify and convert it to symbol, I call it dimmer underscore MC. But for this particular tutorial, I'm going to use this for my instance name, like as in the accelerator A C C E L underscore M C. So you want to make that button. The dimensions of the buttons are 31.95. It's square. Now you could make that a little bigger, a little smaller. That's all right. And the X position and the Y positions, when it's down here, the Y is 280. The Y is 280. The X is the center of that line, which is 475.8. And if I use my arrow keys and bring that up to the top, you'll see that this becomes 75 is where I want that to be. So 75 is the top position, and the bottom position is 280, but that's where we want it to stay, 280. Close that off. Lock all the layers. Open the Actions panel. And right here after this spin wheel, put two enters and put in a couple more variables. Type, type, type. The first variable I'm putting in is called butt up. That's the, the button we just made. Butt up colon number turns blue equals 75. Semicolon. The second variable is butt low colon number that equals 280 semicolon and the range is this the difference of those variable but range capital B capital R colon number equals but low minus but up so you can either rewrite them or just co copy them and paste them semicolon now directly below this put a couple enters and type this code type 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 this code. It's a function. It's called ACCEL, A-C-C-E-L, capital A. There's the open and close brackets for the parameters if you have any. Open curly bracket for my function. Down here is the close curly bracket for my function. And in between, we we're going to create a variable, V-A-R, but moved, capital B, capital M, colon, number, and it's equal to A-C-C-E-L, a cell underscore M-C, 
that's the instance name we gave to that to that button period underscore y minus the butt up and the butt up is right here semicolon the other variable we're going to create is called percent a cell capital P E R A C C capital A colon it's a number and it's equal to how much it moved which is the difference of those two divided by the range up here which is the difference of these two now for a more thorough explanation on what we're doing here um, if you want to know a little more go to my flash tutorial 26 the light dimmer now we're going to write the code that allows that button to be moved up and down with the mouse so after this close curly bracket put a couple of enters in and type 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 and here's what we're typing ACCEL capital A underscore MC that's that movie clip we made the square period on press small o capital P equals function open and close bracket there's the open curly bracket for this on press function there's the close curly bracket don't worry about this semicolon it's usually put in there automatically if it isn't it doesn't need to be there so ACCL underscore MC movie clip period start drag small s capital D turns blue open bracket and all this is the parameters for this for this start drag close bracket semicolon and I'll go through them with you quickly this one says false f-a-l-s-e uh, this wants you to when you I believe click on the center of that button it wants you to lock in on the center of it with your mouse but I put true in here and I don't see a whole lot of difference but there probably is comma A-C-C-L A-C-C-E-L underscore M-C that's that movie clip again period underscore x so that means that it wants to know what how far i think left or right you want to move it and we don't want to move it left or right so we want it to stay right where it is comma this is the upper limit in our case our upper limit was was i think 75 but we have a variable called butt up capital b capital u comma this is the other side the other x-axis if this is the right this is the left or vice versa a c c e l underscore m c period underscore x so that means it can't go left or right comma and this is the lower limit but low capital b capital l close bracket semicolon so that's setting the parameters for that button when we move it up and down this was actually what moves it a c c e l underscore m c period on most move small o capital m capital m turns blue equals a cell and a cell is something we made up here right here that's that function so this is calling that function for us equals a cell a c c e l semicolon now if we just left it like that we wouldn't be able to leave it go so we need an on release and not only do we need an on release, we need an on release outside, or else that we wouldn't be able to ever stop unclicking on it. So ACCL underscore MC period on release small O capital R equals, and you can copy that and paste it and add outside with a capital O. This will all turn blue if it's spelled right. Equals function open and close bracket, and this. There's the open curly bracket for my function, my closed curly bracket for my function, and this just says ACCEL underscore MC period stop drag small s capital D open close bracket semicolon and this should allow us to move that arm up and down. And it does. And you see I can't pull it left or right. And we're now going to take that parameters for this go button. So come down here, we're into this on enter frame and right here all I'm gonna do is put my forward slash and shift and the uppercase of the 8 which is the asterisk that I'm gonna comment that out and I'm gonna comment it right down out I'm not gonna use this toggle anymore so that can be all gone and right down to here where it says if mount MC that's the mountain we want to keep that but right here 
put the asterisk and a forward slash and now that button does nothing for us that red button and that toggle parameter we don't need so come up here if it still have it and you can two backslashes or two forward slashes we don't need that anymore so now let's go back up to our variables put oops put a couple of enters in so it gives us some space and type away type 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 and we're typing three more variables so now we're going to have a minimum and maximum speed so variable var a cell minimum acc M I N capital A capital M colon a number and the slowest we want this to run is zero with a semicolon copy that paste it change min to max and change it to 100 and now we need a range variable ACC range capital A capital R colon number and it's equal to ACC max minus ACC min so you can just copy these and paste them in with a semicolon Now we've got to put these parameters inside this a cell function. So come down here, click after this button range, button range, a couple of enters, and some more typing, 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 typing. We're going to create another variable, and it's going to be called how fast colon number, number turns blue, is equal to this percent ACC, which is this one here multiplied by the ACC range and the ACC range is a variable we just made up here and again this gives us a decimal number so we can this gives us a decimal number so we can multiply that by the range so we can figure how fast it's going to be at any given time and we're going to now apply that how fast to our different movie clips so we declared four variables here and now we're going to use those four variables mount move mount move tree move pole and spin wheel so I'll write this one first move mount equals axil max acc max that's the maximum it can go subtract minus how fast semicolon copy it and paste it change move mount to move tree copy it and paste it move mount to move pole copy it and paste it move mount to spin wheel s p i n w h l that's those four parameters that were originally in this previous tutorial i think we're pretty close and if we tried it now, we'd see that it does work. There it is. It's not moving. This button does nothing. We'll, we'll remove that. But if I go up slowly, faster, 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 faster. And if I go slow, you'll notice that everything's moving at the same speed. The, all the background. So we don't have any, any like depth. So we got to fix that. Let's come down here in the code. If you don't have the actions panel open, open it and right here this is what gave them before when we had the toggle and the button this is what gave them those different speeds so let's go down into the codes down here further what we kept and the first thing we want to do is right here where it says spin wheel rotation click right there and put an asterisk and put 0.8 because if I looked up here it used to be 8 while I'm making it 0.8 this one here asterisk 0.8 I know the move mountain was 2 so I'm going to make it 0.2 so asterisk 0.2 come down further move tree right here move tree was 2.5 so asterisk point two five and there should be one more 
down here, move the pole, asterisk, point three. Now, let's test it out. It's not moving at all. And if I go slow, you can see they're moving different speeds. And I can go faster and faster and faster. Now, with that done, if you want it to go really faster, you can come up to the top here. And this Excel Max is the one you want to change. So let's, for example, make that a 1,000 and test it. It'll really go zoom. So we got lots of control. I'm going to put that back to 100 and go to back to my main timeline and that button here, this one right here, which I believe is this button here, button layer, make sure all the layers are locked, unlock this layer, right click, delete that button. And I think that is it. I may as well delete the layer. I'm going to try it once more. Make sure it's working. I'm happy with that. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And I hope you use what you learned.